today we will learn division of fractions suppose you have 6 chocolates if you had to make groups of 2 chocolates then how many groups would you be able to make go on think about it if you want to make groups of 2 chocolates then you can make 6 divided by 2 So three groups can be made. Now, using the same six chocolates, if you have to make a group of half chocolates, then how many groups will you be able to make? To find this, you must divide six by half. Here, we have to divide a whole number by a fraction. As you can see, to make a group of half chocolates. we have to divide each chocolates into two equal portions therefore by making two equal portions of 6 chocolates we get 6 into 2 that is 12 parts we can say that 6 divided by half is equal to 6 into 2 which is equal to 12 here 2 and half are reciprocals of each other if the product of any two numbers is 1 then such numbers are called reciprocals of each other similarly 5 and 1 by 5 are reciprocals can you tell whether 4 by 7 and 7 by 4 are reciprocals or not think about it their product is 1 so they too are reciprocals of each other by understanding reciprocals we can divide fractions easily in this way when dividing a whole number by a fraction we write the same number as the whole number and multiply it by the reciprocal of the other number so let's look at some more situations related to the division of fractions suppose this bottle contains 3/4 liter juice if it has to be divided equally among 6 children then how much juice will each child get to find this we have to divide 3 by 4 by 6 here we are dividing a fraction by a whole number let's find the result suppose we consider this strip to be a whole number the bottle contains 3/4 liter juice to represent it we will make four equal parts of the strip on the number line the first part will be expressed as 1 by 4 the second will be expressed as 2 by 4 the third will be expressed as 3 by 4 and the fourth as 4 by 4 that is 1 three of these four parts are taken so we will shade the three parts these three shaded parts express the fraction 3 by 4 since 3 by 4 liter of juice is to be divided equally among six children we have to make six equal parts of the shaded portion think about how we'll do this let me tell you for this we have to divide each part into two equal parts so that the shaded part is divided into six equal parts here we have a total of eight parts now let's represent it on the number line as you can see upon dividing the shaded part into six equal parts we get each part as 1/8 So each child gets one eighth of a liter of juice. Therefore, three by four divided by six is one by eighth. To solve three by four divided by six in mathematics, we first write the number three by four as it is. Then multiply it by the reciprocal of six, that is one by six. The result we get is one by eighth. 3/4 divided by 6 is equal to 3 by 4 into 1 by 6 which is equal to 1 by 8 so each child will get 1/8 liter of juice so keep in mind that division by a number means multiplying it by its reciprocal now suppose we have 2 and 1/2 meter long ribbon If we want to cut it into pieces measuring 3/4 meter each then how many parts will we be able to make think a little Yes you are right here too we have to divide 2 and 1/2 meters by 3/4 
notice that two and a half is a mixed fraction. In division of fractions, we have to first convert mixed fractions into improper fractions. For example, here we will write two and a half as five by two. So now the division will become five by two divided by three by four. So how will we solve this? Think a little bit. You are right. We will keep the first fraction as it is. Then we will change the division sign to multiplication sign and then write the other fraction as the reciprocal. That means 5 by 2 divided by 3 by 4 is equal to 5 by 2 into 4 by 3 which is 10 by 3. That is, from a 2.5 meters long ribbon, we will be able to make 10 by 3 pieces, each measuring 3 fourth meter of a ribbon. We can say that in division of fractions also, we keep the first fraction as it is and then we multiply it with the reciprocal of the second fraction. So today, we learned the division of fractions. In the next video, we will see some more examples based on it.